Okay, here we got a Metropolitan Vickers meter, Type N, rated at 2.5 ampere, running currently at a 9 amp load. We'll drop that down to 4.5. First thing I noticed, uh, the meter was going the other way, don't know why, but it's easily revealed. We just drop the camera down a bit. My leading phase is in here, neutral there, outgoing phase. But this meter, have a bit further look, potential link. Actual incoming potential link is there, so this meter needs to phase on the right hand side to the meter coil, back load on the other side. So that's an uh, interesting one. We're gonna verify that and uh, we'll carry on with this uh, meter. Okay, I've verified the wiring, of course, kill the power supply first, and the meter goes now the right way. It's gonna turn the way, ramp this up a bit. This Metrovic unfortunately got a broken glass. Um, I think I actually broke it by accident. Uh, too many meters piled on top of each other and uh, this got uh, damaged. So it's a bit of a restoration project as this meter needs um, uh, some paint and rust removal too. So I'll get the cover off before my memory card runs out. And I need to uh, sort my camera before it shuts down. So just uh, hang on a sec. Okay, I've got that part sorted out. So this meter is a type uh, N, single phase watt hour meter, 230 volts, 2.5 ampere, 2 wire, 50 hertz, disc revolutions per kilowatt hour, 3200. So it's a high revving meter. The meter has of course an all metal gear train. Still, for me, I like watching these gears. Beautifully designed. This meter has a very thin disc. Quite interesting. Very thin aluminium somehow. Let's see if we can get it uh, clearer on the picture a little bit. Uh, yeah, that might be about it. I think turn the camera a bit this way. It's a very thin uh, aluminium. Pulling a little bit on the brake magnet. I'm not too worried about that. Fault brake magnet. Assembly, zoom out a little bit here carefully. Then another interesting part on this particular meter is uh, yeah, the terminal arrangement. As I said, um, the active or the phase in is on this side. Potential link, neutral, neutral and uh, load wire on the outside. And the terminal block is from uh, Porcelain as well. So, yeah, very. It's uh, definitely an old meter. It's a pity there's a bit of corrosion in there, but I'll get a good spray with some CRC. Try to remedy that. Zooming up, and this is the disc on the other side. To give the disc rigidity, they punched all my little dents in it somewhere. Uh, two anti creeping holes in the disc as well. So, yeah, very interesting. The meter reading on this particular meter is 6565.9 kilowatt hours. 
close uh, the wind is picking up. I need to cover back on and uh, I'll zoom into the details on the nameplate, see if it's readable. So yeah, 230 volts, 2.5 ampere. And at the bottom is uh, 3,200 revolutions per kilowatt hour. Thanks for watching.